اسخر مهدیزاده هستم متولد 1336 از کسما شهرستان I am Asghar Medizade born in 1957 in the city of Somayasera. I was in Somayasera, Fuman, Rasht, Evan, and Gohardash prisons for 13 years. I was arrested in Tehran in early 1982, along with MEK supporter Mohsen. Mohsen was murdered under torture because he always defended the aspirations of the MEK. While I was under interrogation, I saw many brothers and sisters who were murdered under torture. I then had my interrogation continued in solitary confinement in Gohardasht. After spending a year and a half there, many prisoners, including Farhad Komei, who was my superior and was very much loved by the people of Somaya Sera, were executed. I was sentenced to 15 years. I was in Gohardash from that date until the massacres of political prisoners in 1988. The authorities had already paved the way to massacre all the prisoners defending the Mojahedinal, M.E.K., and their causes. One day, Murtazavi came into the ward, and the prisoners asked him to resolve a series of issues and problems. In response to the prisoners' demand, Murtazavi said, Because you do not cooperate with us, and you are steadfast in your position as M.E.K., we have nothing to do with your ward anymore. Your ward is on prohibited list until we have the opportunity to deal with you all, he added. He did not come to our ward afterward and didn't provide us with any facilities. We always had a disagreement concerning our exercise and the number of people who take part. Whenever we were collectively doing our daily exercise, this very person, Abbasi, or so-called Hamid Nuri, used to order the prison guards to take us to solitary confinement, and after a few days of beating and torturing us, we were then returned to our wards. On two occasions, they took us to the gas room just because we were doing our exercise together. They then formed a tunnel shape, forming a line on both sides, involving Nasarian, Davud Lashkari, and Hamid Abbasi, along with some other guards torturing us with sticks, cables, and other tools. In the following days, I was told by Nasarian and Nuri that when you claim that you are MEK, you shouldn't waver. We shall deal with you in due course. One day, Davud Lashkari, Faraj, and Hamid Nuri, who were all armed, gathered us and said, You who say that you are from MEK and do your mass prayers along with other things, whenever Khomeini issues his orders, we will line you along the wall and shoot you. Charshambe, 
چشپند بزنید بیایید بیرون وقتی بیرون رفتیم دیدیم که یکی یکی ما رو برد جلوی همین حمید عباسی و شروع کرد به سوال کردن It was Wednesday August 26 when we had just finished our break in the prison yard A guard came and called us to put our blindfolds on and come out. One of the guards led us to this very Hamid Nouri and started asking our name, the conviction, and etc. We realized that his attitude was very different compared to the past. Whenever he used to ask us about the convictions, and we said that we were either the members or sympathizers of the MEK, he used to start insulting, using foul language, and beat us. But this time his attitude had changed a lot. When we returned to the ward, we talked about this incident. It was a question for us why he treated us this way. Considering his attitude, we noticed something had changed compared to the past. We used to have a 14-inch TV set in our ward, but it was removed by a prison guard. The next day, which was Friday, Javad Shaitan was also lingering in the area during our break time. He was holding a radio, and he was also armed. He checked all over the area. I noticed this as a new factor, which did not correlate with the previous situations. غلام رفت برخورد کرد گفت که ملاقات ندارید روز فروشگاه هم بود باعث لیست میدادیم به پاستار گفتیم که این لیست فروشگاهمون گفت لیست فروشگاه فروشگاه هم ندارید قطع ساعت ده به بعد بود که اومدن علیرضا قزنفرپور مقدم که بچه کرج و متهم کرج بود صدا کردن اینو بردن بعد از نیم ساعت سید, م... سید محمد مروج رو هم صدا کردن بردن ساعت It was Saturday August 29 which was visiting time We noticed nobody came to visit us Golam went to find out He returned and said to us that you have no visitors It was also the day to go shopping in the store We had to provide the list of items we needed. We approached a prison guard to deliver our list. He said, you couldn't do your shopping either. It was after 10 a.m. that they came and took Ali Reza Ghazan Farpur Mahadam, who was from Karaj. He had been tried in Karaj. After half an hour, they came after Sayyid Muhammad Moravij and took him away. It was around 12.30 noontime. Through a small hole in the window, we were peeping outside. We saw that Davud Lashkari was taking five blindfolded prisoners towards the yard. They were taken and stopped close to the lavatory. They then began doing ablution. They were giggling on their way back. They stood in front of the wall. One of them was Mashid Razari, who was tall. He punched into the wall with his fist. The prison guards then opened the yard gate and took him to the other side of the asphalted road, where there was a warehouse with a red gate. Prisoners were taken there. عجیب می نمود و ما خیلی کنجکاو شدیم بعد از یک ساعت دیدیم که یک حدود 20 پاستار از اون سوله بیرون اومدن وقتی از هواخوری داخل هواخوری اومد من از همون دریچه دیدم که خاکی علی بیدندان عباسی، لشکری، اینا واسه یک دیگه تعریف میکنن. It was very strange for us, and we were very curious. After an hour, we saw that about 20 guards came out of this warehouse. From that little hole in the ventilator, I saw that Kaki, Ali Bindandan, Abasi, Lashkari, and others were busy talking. Kaki and Ali Bindandan were wearing t-shirts. and it was clear that they were sweating. When they came into the guard's room, they were talking to each other, saying how courageous the prisoners were, and kept chanting slogans before their execution. Ali bin Nadan and Abbasi were saying that these guys were hypocrites, monafek, they are evil, and should all be killed. شرایط فرق کرده 
اعدام ها شروع شده ما تا غروب همون روز حدود 20 نفر از زندانیان را دیدیم که بعضی ها را میشناختیم من جمله جعفر هاشمی و محشید رزاقی اینا را که از همونجا بردند در همون سوله اعدام کردند غروبش با یک آمبولانس اومدن جنازه ها را توی آمبولانس انداختند We then found out that the situation is far different from the past. The executions had already started. Until the evening of the same day, we saw about 20 prisoners, some of whom we knew, including Jafar Hashimi and Mashid Razagi. They were taken from there and executed in the same warehouse. In the evening, they brought an ambulance and loaded the corpses and drove away. At night, we sat down and talked. Ghulam Reza Hasanpour was my superior. He said the situation had changed, but nevertheless, we will go to court and defend our cause accordingly. صبح فردا پاستر لشکری اومد گفت که همه تون چشپن بزنید با وسایل بگید بیرون ما آماده شدیم بریم بیرون The next morning, the guard corps member, Lashkari, entered the ward, ordered everyone to put the blindfold on and come out with all their belongings. We got ready to go out. I supervised the logistics. They had set up a line outside, and whoever wanted to pass them through, they asked his conviction and then began beating everyone. وقتی گفتن اتهام چیه این با صدای بلند گفت که سازمان مجاهدین خلق ایران که همین جا اینو جدا کردند بردند واسه بیدادگاه من تو چند سری که وسایل می بردم هر بار می پرسیدن و می زدن تا اینکه رفتیم فرعی روبرو فرعی هفت In one occasion, I witnessed that Mohs and Karim Rajad, who was an engineering student, when they asked what his conviction was, he loudly replied, the Mojin Hall Organization of Iran. He was separated from the rest and taken to the so-called court. In a number of times when they were transferring their belongings, they kept asking what their conviction was and kept beating them up. We were then taken to the opposite section, subsection 7, where Dr. Farzin, Golam, Masud Hastu, told us to start cleaning because our first task was to clean each subsection we entered. Some halves an hour after we started cleaning, Davu Lashkari came to our section, and once he opened the door, he came across with a corridor full of water. He became angry and asked, Why did you pour so much water? All of you gather in the big hall. Once we went there, he came and started asking questions such as what is your name, the length of sentence you have received, and what was the conviction? When he came face to face with Masud Hastu, he said to him, You were saying that you were a supporter and member of the People's Mojideen? And now what do you have to say? He was very angry and resentful towards Masud Hastu, because every time he went to visit his mother and grandmother, he used to bring some news and as a result, he was beaten by Davud Lashkari, Hamid Abbasi and Asarian. یک برگی دادن و می بردن داخل اتاق ما برگی رو پر می کردیم و بعد می اومدیم تو راه رو می نشستیم در این روز من تا شب اونجا بودم شب ما را همین حمید عباسی به صف کرد برد زیر بند They took us out and handed us over to Abbasi. We then went to the court's corridor where the death committee were stationed there. They gave us a piece of paper and took us into a room where we filled in the form, and then we came and sat in the corridor. On this day I was there until late night. That night the same person, Hamid Abbasi, lined us up and took us under Ward 2, which was solitary confinement. He pushed us into solitary confinement. I started doing Morse code with the adjacent cell. I noticed it was Dr. Farzin who replied by telling me the story of going to the death room. In the middle of doing the Morse code, it was Abbasi who opened the door and saw me. 
He began insulting me and took me to the opposite cell. صبح فردا که دوشنبه دهم بود ما را همین عباسی صبح اومد با صدای بلند گفت که همه تون چشپن بزنید بیایید بیرون ما اومدیم چشپن زدیم اومدیم بیرون و ما را به صف کرد آورد تو While in the new cell I communicated with the next cell and I noticed that it was Masood Hastu we talked and told each other the story of the death committee The next morning which was Monday the 10th Hamid Abbas, he came and shouted, All of you, put the blindfold on and come out. We put the blindfold on and came out. He lined us up and asked everyone for their names, details, the length of their sentence and the charges. Whoever said he was a supporter of the MEK, Hamid Abbas would line them up and take them to the death committee. That day, it was a از هر جا زندانیان رو به اونجا می آوردند من تو راهروی اصلی نشسته بودم و چرا که می اومدن تا اونجایی که میتونستم می گفتم روز شنبه ما شاهد این داستان اعدام بچه ها بودیم که در این روز پونزده سری از بچه ها را که هر کدام There was such mayhem that day. Prisoners were brought in from everywhere. I was sitting in the main corridor. Whoever was brought in, I tried to tell them as much as I could that we witnessed the executions on Saturday. There were 15 groups of prisoners who were in batches of 10 to 15 people each who were taken to the death corridor. We did not know where they were being taken. list of names and the people were handed over to Nasserian by Abbasi, who lined them up and then led them along with some other guards to the death committee. من اون روز تا ساعت هشت هشت نیمونجا بودم دوباره منو به همون سلول بودم. این داستان چندین روز ادامه داشت. روز شنبه پونزده هم خیلی اعدام ها شدت پیدا کرده بود. سحنه های خیلی سحنه های با شکور از نظر I was there that day until 8 or 8.30 then taken to the same cell again. The saga continued for several days. On Saturday the 15th the number of executions intensified. I saw very glorious scenes in terms of resistance and endurance. For example, Bayat, the head of the health department, fetched Nasser Mansouri from the health clinic. He was on a stretcher. Since he had been put in solitary confinement in protest, he jumped out from a window on the third floor, and as a result, he became paralyzed. <laughs> برای مداوا به بیمارستان ببرن وقتی دیدم که همینو به همون اتاق مرگ بردند یکی دو دقیقه بیشتر طول نکشید دیدم این آوردن بیرون بردند سمت چپ نشوندند و بعد به سوی سالن مرگ برد با خودم فکر میگردم که چجوری اینو میخوان اعدام بکنن؟ از شگونگیش نمیدونستم. منم نمیشناختم اینو. I thought that perhaps they might take him to the hospital for treatment, but I saw him being taken to the same death room. It did not take more than a minute or two. I saw him being returned and made him sit on the left-hand side of the corridor. I was thinking about how they were going to carry out the execution. I didn't know him, but others later said it was the heroic Nasser Mansouri, or Mohammed Mamouli, who was taken to solitary confinement a few months ago because of his organizational affiliation. 
He had lost one of his legs. He was also taken to be executed. In these corridors, I witnessed the execution of many, and I met several of them, including Hadi Muhammad Najad. Four members of his family had been martyred. In their last visits, his family had told him, Dear Hadi, do something so that they wouldn't execute you. Hadi had replied that, I will try and will do my best because I want to live. But although I love life, I do not want to betray my ideals and goals and become like the two-day party whom the people despise. On Saturday, he named most of the MEK members, including Jaffa Hosravi, Hamid Reza Hemati, and Code Rat Nuri, and several other MEK who were taken to be executed. It was at this time that Nasarian, who was after someone, came and asked Hayrullah to rise up and said, What were you doing, evil hypocrite? What were you saying? What were you leading the others to? He was handed over to another guard and taken to the death committee and then for execution. There and then, Nasarian called me and, after swearing at me, said, You wouldn't say anything, you cannot talk. What were you saying? And he continued humiliating me. They then took us back to the same corridor of death. من تا ساعت هشت هشت و نیم تو همین راه راه مرگ بودم سپس منو بردم به سلول انفرادی روز دوشنبه بعد ظهر بود که دیدم صدای باز شدن درب سلول ها هستش که می شنیدم هر کدام از زندانیان می آوردن بیرون باش برخورد میکردن وقتی اومدن سلول منو باز کردن دیدم ناصریان مصطفی پور محمدی حمید نوری و چند پاسدار دیگه هستند I was in the same corridors of death until 8 or 8:30 then I was taken to solitary confinement It was on Monday afternoon when I heard the cell door opening each prisoner was brought out and was dealt with. When they opened my cell door, I saw Nasarian, Mustafa Pormahamadi, Hamid Nouri, and a few other guards. Nasarian furiously started shouting, insulting and swearing, saying, put your blindfold on and come out. After consulting with each other, they formed a kind of court-martial for me. I was handed over to two guards and taken to the cell where I was before. <laughs> when I entered the room, I saw that in the middle of the room was a small, wide tablecloth. The food on the plate had dried up and became rotten. It was clear that it was in the middle of lunchtime when the last person had been taken away. One had put his watch on the sacks, one had put his rosary, one had bid farewell, saying that we are now going. Convey our greetings to the organization and to Masood. Man. دیدم که 
مدت هاست هموم نرفته اصلاح نکردم رفتم کار فردی من انجام دادم اومدم بیرون بعد دیدم که طبقه پایینم صدای خوهرا میاد وقتی با اینا تماسی گرفتم سری پاستارا وارد شدند به من توهین کردن گفتن که با کی تماس می گرفتی؟ من انداختن داخل همو و شروع کردم به ضرب شدن به طوری که بیهوش شدم همونجا افتادم تا شب اونجا افتاده بودم بیهوش اومدم خودم کشیدم بیرون این بار اون بار که نگاه کردم دیدم که بغل سلول انفرادی ما چند تا سلول چراغاش روشنه I heard that the sisters' voices could be heard from downstairs. When I called the sisters, the guards quickly came in and insulted me and said, Who were you calling? They threw me in the bathroom and started beating me so that I fainted. When I became conscious, I dragged myself out. Next to my solitary cell, I saw the lights of few other cells were on. I called the first one through the window. He introduced himself. He was Hadi Muhammad Neja. I also told him my name. He said, Askar, they took me to the death hall. They raised the subject of interviews and intelligence cooperation. Anyone who refuses would be executed the next day. The next morning, two guards came after me and told me to get dressed. When I approached the death hall, I saw that there was a crowd of prisoners. They put us next to a prisoner. At one point, I asked the prisoner what was going on. He said, is it the first time you have come here? I said, yes. He said, wait. They will take you first to show you the scene of the executions. گفت که اولین بار اومدی گفتم آره گفت که منتظر باش اول تو رو میبرن سحنه اعدام را نشون میدن بعد از مدتی پاستاری اومد گفت که شیر اصلی ها بلند شن دیدم دوازده نفر بلند شدن رفتن با شعار شعار درود بر مجاهد یا حسین اینا داشتن میرفتن تعداد دیگه از جاشون بلند شدن که برن به سمت سالون مرگ After a while a guard came and said You honey bees rise I saw 12 people got up and left while chanting slogans such as Long live M.E.K. O Hussein referring to the grandson of Prophet Muhammad As they were leaving, some others got up to go to the death hall. The guards shouted at them, saying that you are also overtaking each other for being executed. One from the behind row replied, Yes, we do. Do you want to know why we overtake? The guard said, Yes. He said, So long as you are in our position, due to the fact that you are a guard corps member and we are MEK, you will never, ever comprehend it anyhow. من چیزهای جدیدی می دیدم که همه بچه ها در اوج بودن و از آرمانشون دفاع می کردن مرگ واسه چون چیزی نبود به سخره گرفته بودن من هم روحیه می گرفتم تا اینکه چند سری رو بردم بعدش پاستاری که من آورده بودن آورده بود اونجا نشسته نشونده بود صدایم کرد من برد داخل سالون مرگ اونجا از زیر چشمان دیدم که جلوی سن انبوه on this day i was witnessing new phenomena where all the mek were standing tall and defending their ideals Death was nothing to them, and they made a mockery of death. I was also gaining my spirit. 
until they took several people. Then the guard who had brought me called me and took me into the death hall. I did peep from my blindfold and saw many corpses in front of a stage there. I was kept some distance away from the stage, then uncovered my blindfold. I fainted. I said to myself, God, what is going on here? در همین حین که نگاه میکردم فریاد مرگ بر خمینی درود بر رجوی زنده باد آزادی فضای اونجاره که رفت و من شاهد بودم که پایینشون پیکرهای شهدا بود که پاسداران پاهاشون نمی گرفتن I saw that 12 MEK each were standing on a chair with a rope around their necks. While I was watching, the yelling of death to Khomeini, long live Rajavi, long live freedom, overwhelmed the area. I witnessed that next to them were other bodies of the martyrs whose feet were grabbed by the guards and dragged out of the hall. When they were chanting slogans, the guards were bewildered. One of them, named Nasarian, turned to Lashkari and Hamid Nuri and the guards shouting at them, Why are you standing there? They are evil, they are hypocrites! که همینو گفت خودش همراه نوری و داوود لشکری اینا رفتن سمت بچه ها و لگت زدن به صندلیشون و لگت می زدن بچه ها پرتاب می شدن بعد از اینکه چارومی رو زدن از چارومی رد بچه ها شعارشون محکمتر می شود می گفتم درود بر مجاهد الله و اکبر اینا After saying these words, he went towards those standing on the chairs with Nuri and Davud Lashkari and started kicking at the chairs under their feet. They kicked and the prisoners were dropped hanging from the rope. After they kicked the fourth chair and removed the fourth person's feet, the Mojahedin shouted louder and said, Hail to MEK, Allah Akbar! It was at this point that I could no longer bear what I was witnessing. I did not understand anything anymore and fainted. After a while, I sensed that a guard was pouring some water on me. When I opened my eyes, I saw that the bodies were lingering on the ropes. They had already passed away. The guard blindfolded me and brought me back to the same place where I was. I had already lost my psychological balance, and I was no longer the same person as Asgar. After the executions, we were brought back to Ward 13. We saw that a small number of MEK prisoners had remained. All of them had kept their promises and adhered to their aspirations. بعد از این هم ماها رو میخواستن اعدام بکنن ناصریان و همین حمید نوری به داخل We were next in line to be executed. Nasarian and this very person, Hamid Nuri, came to Ward 13 and threatened us to say that the executions are still going on. And should you continue to carry on supporting the organization, don't imagine that we will not execute. We have some infiltrators among you, and we are in full control of everything. <laughs>